Don't buy a PlayStation. Don't buy that flat screen TV. Don't go on a shopping spree. There are better ways to use your federal tax refund. What's up you guys? Average Joe on Money here. So in this video, we're going to talk about the six great ways that you can use your federal tax refund. Are you ready? Let's roll. Welcome back to the channel. And in case you are new to the Average Joe Money YouTube channel, we put out weekly videos every Thursday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time designed to help you reduce financial stress in your life and help you learn the money concepts that we wish we'd have been taught in school. If you need that in your life right now, consider hitting that subscribe button below and clicking on that bell to be alerted to all of my weekly videos. So let's get started right now. Okay, so it is tax season. Getting a federal tax refund can really get the ball rolling with your financial success journey and help you get started on a few important things. So let's cover those right now. I've got six ways that you can utilize your tax refund to help you better manage your money. Okay, so number one, kickstart your emergency fund. You had to know I was going somewhere with this one, right? you have to have an emergency fund. 78% of Americans, according to a career builder survey, live paycheck to paycheck. You know why? They don't have an emergency fund. This is a great way to get started. There are a lot of recommendations for emergency funds. You might hear three to six months. You might hear one month of living expenses starting with $500 or 1,000. My recommendation as a starter, if you don't have one at all, is one month of living expenses, just as a starting point. Most likely, you can get that done with your federal tax refund. That's a great way to use your tax refund. Okay, so number two, pay off debt. This is a big one. So many people are living in debt and getting a tax refund, a large sum of money, depending on where you're at in your financial journey, is a great way to get a large chunk of that debt paid off. We're talking about credit cards, personal loans, auto loans, student loan debt, all these things you need to get rid of out of your life because they cause stress. There's a number of different ways you wanna categorize or prioritize which debts to pay off first. There are two main methods. There is the snowball method and then there is the avalanche method. The snowball method is all about listing out your debts and paying off the smallest ones first and then going to the largest ones to get some of those accounts knocked out quickly, give you some momentum. Then there's the avalanche method which is all about paying off the highest interest debt first down to the lowest interest rate debt. Technically, this is the fastest way to pay off debt, though it's not a lot faster than the snowball method. Either way, it depends on how many debts you have, what the interest rates are. Point is, either one of those, whichever one you're gonna do and follow through on is the best one for you. I've got a video all about paying off debt and the best method for you. I'm gonna drop a link in the comments below and I'll throw a card right up there. Okay, so number three, Pay down your mortgage. So if you've got an emergency fund and you've got all of your consumer debt paid off, one great way to utilize your tax refund is to make a large payment, a principal payment on your mortgage that's outstanding. It's a great way to reduce the amount of interest that you're gonna pay over the life of the loan and it guarantees you're gonna pay that loan off earlier than the normal term. Just by paying one or $2,000 every year as a one-time payment on principal can save you tens of thousands of dollars in interest on your mortgage and result in paying it off years earlier than you would have normally paid it off. Okay, so number four, save that money for the next purchase of a car or a down payment for your next home. Okay, so when we're talking about car loan debt and mortgages, these are large expenses and we've talked about in previous videos how car loan debt is a recurring cycle that people get caught up in where they have a car loan payment hundreds of dollars each and every month and as a result once they pay off their loan debt or it gets low they end up getting another car maybe a more expensive one and another car loan so if you can set yourself up to pay cash for a car instead of having a car loan you're gonna set yourself up for success financially. Now, regarding the mortgage, it is really critical that you put as much down payment 
up front rather than financing as much as possible. There's this thing called PMI or private mortgage insurance. If you put down less than 20% down payment of the purchase price of the home, you're going to have private mortgage insurance. It's a money that you don't get back. It's just a way of insuring the lender in case you default on the mortgage early in the life of the loan. If you can avoid this by having a large down payment, this is going to benefit you and save you money. Okay, so number five, contribute to your retirement. This is an easy one. If you've got an emergency fund set up and you've got your consumer debt paid off, you can choose to contribute to your retirement accounts. Now, I'm not talking about your 401k through your work. I'm talking about an IRA account, an individual retirement account, or a Roth IRA account, which is a different type of tax sheltered account. Now, here in 2019, the limits are six thousand dollars in contributions so why not utilize that part of that tax refund or even all of it to make a large contribution to your retirement account when you contribute money now and you build more time for compound interest to do its job you are going to have more money in retirement this is a great way to utilize your federal tax refund okay so lastly but definitely not leastly last but not least number six do nothing what i mean by that is save that money but with no purpose right now. You don't have to rush to judgment and go out and buy a new flat screen TV or buy a new PlayStation or buy something because you have the money. Let that money sit, make an informed decision with what's the best way to use that money. Now, when I'm talking about saving that money, let's put it in a great spot. Put it in a savings account that has a real rate of interest. Don't put it with Bank of America or Chase or Wells Fargo where you're gonna earn 0.02% annual percentage yield that's horrible. Why don't you use an online savings account such as American Express Online Bank, or you can utilize Discover, or you can utilize Synchrony Bank. All these banks have very competitive online savings interest rates. It's not a bad idea just to save the money and wait to figure out what the right way to utilize that money is. If you think that there's a better way to use the federal tax refund that I missed in this video, do me a favor, hit that like button and drop a comment in the comments below. Let me know what that is so we can provide that benefit to the other subscribers on this channel. And again, hey, hit that like button. That lets YouTube know that this video is helpful to you and will be helpful to others as well. If you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button below and click on the bell to be alerted to all of my weekly videos. Remember, I put out a weekly video every Thursday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Have a great week.